Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be comparing CMU 1.11.2 to CMU 1.11.3 from a performance standpoint using The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as our gaming benchmark. In order to attain the maximum performance, all testing was carried out on a freshly compiled shader, and due to the experimental nature of the new multi-core features of CMU 1.11.3, we are not using GX2 draw done in either versions of CMU. If you wish to see the performance differences between dual core recompiler and triple core recompiler, I will have those videos listed down in the description if you wish to check them out. All testing in those videos was carried out on my i3, 8350K at 4.8 GHz, but in this video you are watching right now, I did all my testing on my 7700K clocked at 4.7 GHz. Okay, let's swap straight across to our first scene in Hateno. So as you can see on screen right now, there is a sizable performance difference between 1.11.2 and 1.11.3. This performance difference is because in CMU 1.11.3 they have introduced an experimental feature that allows for more of your CPU, so basically a multi-core update for CMU emulator. This feature is going to make your games, not just Breath of the Wild, every single game run much better performance wise when using them on CMU emulator. So as it is very clear to see, the performance crown in our Hateno scene goes to CMU 1.11.3. Let's swap over to our Kakariko scene and see what performance is like there. In a similar fashion to all of the scenes you are about to see, there is a massive performance difference between 1.11.3 and 1.11.2. As previously mentioned, this new multi-core feature will not just boost the very high-end CPUs like my 7700K or my i3-8350K, it will also show massive performance boosts on lower-end CPUs, even non-K models. Basically, if your CPU has multi-cores, for example a 4-core, 6-core, 8-core, or even dual cores that have hyper-threading, you will see performance differences and improvements across the board. When moving into our Hateno scene, an area that is synonymous with being one of the most grueling areas performance-wise, you can see that on CMU 1.11.3, our FPS is hardly affected anymore by the amount of NPCs in this area. On previous versions of CMU like you were seeing in 1.11.2, what would have been a stable 60 FPS drops down into the low to mid 40s at times due to the large volume of enemies, complex geometry and enemy AI in play in our rendered game world. Once again the performance crown goes to CMU 1.11.3. When moving across to our Gerudo Village test scene, it becomes slightly more apparent that we are not using GX2 draw done, as you saw that character just flicker in and out of the scene. This is one of the effects that GX2 draw done has on the game. Enabling GX2 draw done will stop this NPC pop in, it will fix enemy and animal AI in the game world, and in other games such as Bayonetta 2, it will fix certain things like audio crashing and in game texture flickering. Even though GX2 Draw Done does fix these NPC issues in 1.11.3, enabling it can drop your FPS by up to 25-35% to in my testing. Regardless of if you use it or not, we still get better performance in 1.11.3 as compared to 1.11.2. In my final test scene of Lura Lin Village, it really hammers home the fact that CMU 1.11.3 absolutely demolishes all previous versions of CMU. We have not seen a performance increase like this in months, dating the whole way back to CMU 1.7.4 to 1.7.5. So there we go guys, hopefully this video can answer some of your questions as to what kind of performance difference we can expect when moving from 1.11.2 to 1.11.3. As always, performance is still completely dependent on your own hardware, but in this new CMU release you should see a very large performance difference if your CPU is in any way modern. When I say modern, I mean released within the last 4 to 5, maybe even 6 years. I have seen massive performance increases even on my 2600K, which is completely unoverclocked and runs at stock of 3.4GHz. Previously in CMU 1.11.2, using my 2600K, I was running at about 15 to 20 FPS when inside villages. On CMU 1.11.3, I am running at 33 to 40 FPS most of the time when inside of villages. 
I must also stress that in this 2600K system, I am using 16GB of RAM. If you're using 8GB of RAM or lower, you are still going to have performance issues and stutter when using Breath of the Wild on CMU emulator. This stutter can be alleviated to a point by following my CMU shader cache performance guide that video will be found below in the description. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.